partner that you had the uh, uh, one of the farmer at the company of Tokyo Future Style, and they are like Japanese and, and French based company, and now they have a headquarters in Taiwan, right? So it's not sure to promote the product. They are seeking for the collaborator of the PI or in the field of the cancer or organoid. As you can see, the flyer, the title is the 3D uh, organoid culture of or 3D culture. Right? So, so we will heard more from, from them later. So uh, today we are pretty honored to have them and to give us a, a seminar and they will present uh, some kind of research base and the real data and then I just try to convince you their product and that they can help uh, our research. So uh, well, without further ado, I will introduce the, the uh, they call the Dong Shi okay, Dr. Zhou, okay, and then the uh, director Low will, will uh, present the seminar. So let's welcome uh, Dr. Zhou. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And uh, Dr. Xu, thank you for giving us this honor and opportunity. Uh, I will present a company called Tokyo Future Style, which is originally from Japan and the chairman of the company in Taiwan. And today, we are going to introduce a very advanced technology in 3D cell cultures. And the founder of this company is also a CEO and CSO, is a Dr. Natalie Baumann. And uh, she would like to come today, actually, herself, but uh, because of pandemic situations, she especially made a video to be the opening message. And uh, before this message, I would also want to tell you that uh, she has decided to set up a, a PH Pharma, HCS PH, Pharma Taiwan, and uh, this company is going to seek the opportunity of collaborating with you. So without you, I would say start the video. Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, and I'm Nathalie Modo, I am the CEO and CSO of HS Pharma. First of all, I want to apologize not to be with you today. I really want to thank you for your welcome, and I want also to thank your partners, Joseph, Jimmy, Sean, and Professor Lowe, to take the time to do the presentation for us. And actually, I only want to mention the last point. I think the first two points you hear it, and also you hear from the presentation. The last point is all the data we're going to show you are the real data and also perform the, te the experience and test as in France, in HCS Pharma's their own lab. Also, with a lot of corporations, with researchers in France, uh, university and, and academic cinemas also. So, uh, uh, before the presentation go on, I also want to highlight two points about the presentations. First, next, next page, please. The first point is highlight one, we call it the uh, why three culture now. Uh, three culture has been around for a while, and actually uh, this biomimesis technology we're going to introduce today is real and also is mature. There's a proof, a lot of concepts, and also a lot of applications has been done already. And uh, I think you are more exposed than me. The uh, hydro chip was actually invented by a, an American called Green. Uh, free switches. He developed that in 2000 years, in year 2000. And, but he need to add the PET in order to make it suitable for cell cultures. And only recently, about five, six years ago, in France, the Rouen University has found a way to add PET into it to make it possible, and also then change the status of, of, of this HA base uh, hydrogel into scaffolding hydrogel. So that can really feel the for 3D cell cultures. And uh, the second part is that, uh, like I said earlier, uh, HS Pharma has made this technology uh, industrialized and commercialized, become ready to use and uh, easy to use. And uh, the other reasons why the 3D cultures now is because the instrument that we use. In the past, in the 2D cell cultures, a lot of instruments were okay, but not really meaningful useful. In this 3D age now comes a real huge amount of data. And the instruments also improve a lot and with the help of some very advanced software and also the uh, machine learning and AI technologies. So this technology, this uh, instrument are now able to catch all these data and we can analyze it, become meaningful and useful. 
for this part, we have done some research in Taiwan. We find that in Taiwan can be do that, and also we want to duplicate all the experiments done in France and in Taiwan. So we are seeking for the opportunity to collaborate with you to make it real and then uh, a good reference in Taiwan too. The second page, second highlight point I want to mention is Fight Taiwan. I think we, you all know very well that in Taiwan, our government is promoting biotechnology. So biotechnology is booming in Taiwan, in the universities, academic syndicates, and, and uh, institutions, and industries, and hospitals. Yeah. So the lot of uh, opportunity came up for the application of this technology. This is why uh, HS Pharma chose to come to Taiwan. And secondly, any high tech need a lot of people, a lot of good people, the talent people. And you are the talent here. And the third point is that, um, like I said, I mentioned earlier, the bio, bio, uh, biotechnology is now converging with uh, other technologies, such as information technology, and in particular, in the electronic <coughs> technology and semiconductor in, 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 uh, technologies. And in Taiwan, we have the best of these two technologies there. Therefore, the hydro scaffolding of 3D uh, technology is now moving into 4D technology. What is 4D technology? The earlier hydro scaffolding I was talking about actually is steady hydro scaffolding. But you're going to move into dynamic hydro scaffolding. And dynamic scaffolding meaning that you put the cell culture into a fluid situation which is biochip. So biochip can be produced in Taiwan. And also with biochip you come to the need of biosensors in order to monitor the cell growth anytime you want. And also with the total system to uh, monitor the real time. And therefore, you can go from biochip into uh, a chip on a, uh, organ on a chip into human on a chip. So this is what I want to say. That. And in the presentation, you will hear about what we have done in Taiwan. And also, we again like to invite you, every one of you, to be part of that and participate in this project. So without you today, I pass on to my colleague Jimmy here to begin the presentation. Thank you. Thank you everyone, and thank you for Dr. Xu and uh, Dr. Joe for their introduction. Uh, I'm Jimmy, I'm Jimmy Lo, Jian Lo, uh, you can also call me Jimmy. I'm the director of Tokyo Future Style Taiwan, and today I'm going to present the, this innovative 3D culture for life science research and also helpful for drug discovery and cell therapy. Uh, first of all, I'm going to short, shortly introduce our company we Tokyo Future Style is founded in Japan by our founder, uh, Mr. Takashi Endo. Uh, he has a goal to connect the technology with the supplier and the researchers. So our spirit is we try to find, uh, we try to cooperate it with the supplier. They have innovative biotech or material and to provide it to, to the researcher to re increase their efficiency of the life science research and also to make a better world. And two years ago when Mr. Endo went to French at a bio, at a bio, at a, at a meeting and he met um, Dr. Malbon, the CEO of HCS Pharma and he believed their technology can make a big impact in the research field. So uh, this is how we started to cooperate with them. And later on last year, HCS Pharma was invited by the famous imaging industry, molecular devices to Taiwan, give us pitches, and we have a direct contact with her at Taiwan and become the promotion agent at here. And also earlier this year, uh, my superior, uh, Ms. Dr. Cho, he went to Japan with uh, Dr. Malbon to Tokyo University, attended a meeting talking about the dynamic gig model biochip uh, my superior just mentioned before. And uh, this is what HS Pharma is. They are a drug screening company located at French Lille and uh, at the beginning, their main business is helping a drug company for drug screening, but after they developed this technology, now they provided two things. One is the product, which is the Biomimis, the 3D cell culture technology product, 
and also the services by using this technology to improve their drug screening service and also they can help researchers to provide the product even by customize it. And this is the relationship of it after the cooperation. Uh, this is Dr. Malbon you have seen on the video and this is uh, Dr. Cho you have seen also. He become the, joined the advisory board uh, to to represent the business at Taiwan and here, and also our consultant, uh, Dr. Zhang Lo, he also become the science board member and manage the science research project with friends at, at Taiwan. The harder the tissue is, the stronger the stiffness are. But if you want to culture like neural cell or other organ cells, it's better to use a lower stiffness environment. So to create it, the correct ECM environment you have to know both the component and the mechanical property and this is how HCS accomplish. They create a pattern process way and they use hyaluronic acid as the main material which is very a uh, very familiar chemical compound you might heard in cosmetic or other stuff and they are the only one they can use this to create a hydrogel like structure right now and also it contains some collagen gem, protein and other peptide of it so combine them together they create a natural ECM like structure like this compared to the natural decelerized ECM at here and this is the main technology they hold right now and HCS Pharma is keep looking uh, different cooperator not only in life science and medical science research but also in other fields including cosmetic and food industry and we hope this technology can apply and help people in different fields and to improve the technology we have right now and make a better world and I'm Jian Lo uh, I try to represent HCS today and if you have any question, you're welcome to ask, and I will do my best to answer your question of it. And, and if I cannot answer the question, I will ask the advisory from the French side and to reply to you later by email. Thank you.